everyone, welcome to a new episode of Crypto Tips. My name is Heidi. Today I'm addressing a question sent in by one of our CT Club members. If you guys don't know what the CT Club, there's a link for it down below. Uh, in that membership, you can get access to trade alerts that we're doing, our thoughts on the market, and access to our crypto portfolio so you can know exactly what we're doing with our cryptocurrencies and why. And there's classes and there's a really cool community. Anyway, here's today's question. The ECB, also known as the European Central Bank, is currently investigating digital euro, but it seems that it will run on a private blockchain. Is that even technically possible? So here's the thing about central bank digital currencies, CBDCs. These are, uh, you know, the next evolution of fiat currencies on, you know, for governmentally issued currencies. Um, they have taken the technology that is blockchain technology that Bitcoin has granted us. Thank you, Satoshi. Uh, and they're twisting it to be an even more powerful tool, putting the power in their hands, not in yours. The complete opposite of what Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies do. Um, it is possible to have a private blockchain. Uh, Bitcoin isn't, Ethereum isn't, a lot of these cryptocurrencies aren't. But what a private blockchain means is that only if you have uh, the right credentials can you have access to knowing exactly what is happening on that private network. Only you can know exactly uh, which transaction was sent where, uh, maybe even to know the exact total supply of the CBDC. Why would they want the public to know that? Why would they want to know, why would they want you to know what they're doing with their money. And in the reverse of that, if you can't see what's happening on the blockchain, you can't see. But if you can see, it means that you can know exactly what everyone is doing with their funds, when they're, they're making payments, why they're making payments. Another scary aspect that it could definitely be uh, a result and, and something happening on, with these central bank digital currencies and with that complete control I was referencing before, is they can blacklist your address, they can freeze your funds, they can do all the scary things that we're always saying these centralized blockchains might be able to do. Imagine if it was actually directly in control of, uh, in the control of a government. Um, we are always warning you guys of not to be excited over central bank digital currencies. They are not your friend. Um, they might be advertised that way. But now that you guys are watching this channel, you know that Bitcoin exists. That is an amazing tool for freedom. And I think you guys should use it to the best of your ability. And subscribing to channels like this is a good way to start your education. So anyway, uh, that's it for today. Hope you guys liked it. Hit likes, hit subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye.